What's going on dudes and dudettes, it is Deadwell here bringing you the Mortal Kombat official Red Band trailer. I have been excited for this movie for a long time. Uh, honestly, I'm a fan of the first Mortal Kombat movie, the one that came out a long time ago. It's not that bad. The weird scorpion, like, hand thing, you know, uh, that's a bit weird, but uh, I think that movie was fine. I watched it when I was a kid, so maybe, uh, maybe it's aged with time. It probably most definitely did, but yeah. Uh, I've seen some images from this movie. It looks, you know, pretty accurate so far. You know, I haven't. I think the Sub Zero I saw was like re in like a really dark uh, area, so he didn't look, you know, like blue, like video game Sub Zero yet. But you know, maybe he'll be in this trailer. I've seen like there's fatalities in this trailer, which I'm excited for. Like Red Band trailers are always go all out. The Upgrade trailer was awesome. The the Logan trailer was awesome. So yeah, I'm, I'm ready for this. Let's get into it. All right, I was like, did I press play? <laughs> First learned about this seven years ago on a mission in Brazil to capture a wanted fugitive. Oh, that's Sub-Zero? Oh, those effects are pretty cool. Oh, oh. Was that Jax? Wait, was that Jax? And was that Sonya Blade? It had the same marking you do, Cole. It's a birthmark. What do you mean? He was born with it. It's not a Word? Birthmark, Cole. Yeah, that's. Means you've been chosen. Cole. History, different cultures all was that the world. Katana? Reference a great tournament. Raiden? And what was that? Shang Tsung, maybe? I think it's an invitation. Is that Scorpion? To fight for something known. Yeah, because his family got killed by Sub Zero, right? Oh, damn! Damn! Hanzo Hisashi over here. These are your champions. I'm Sonya. That's Kano. Okay, what? Okay, that looks kind of weird. Thanks, Jax. Nice. Fate of Earth is okay, not bad. Scorpion. Ooh, was that Melina? This looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Oh, he has his fatality! What was that, Mortal Kombat 9? Sub Zero versus Scorpion. Sub Zero. Nice. That is a fatality, though. Oh shit. Get over here. That was a bit cringe, but okay, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> What the heck was that? Wins, you fucking beauty. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. But bruh. Okay, there's like so much to go through. What? <laughs> like, oh my god. So that is Jax. That's how he lost his arms. Those effects are so cool. Honestly, they probably shouldn't have put this in the trailer. Because that would have been like a cool movie moment. But, you know, I guess we can see how Jax lost his arms. I personally would have left that out of the trailer because that would be awesome just to see in the movie. Um, Cole, I don't know who this guy is. He's not Johnny Cage, right? And they showed Luke Kane and B and not Behan, uh, uh, Kung Lao. So I guess he's just like a new character. Uh, I haven't played the recent Mortal Kombat game, so he might be in it, but I don't remember him from any of the lore. Um, there we go. Oh no, she has forks. This is probably Melina then. Uh, I thought it was Katana at first, but Katana has those fan thingies. <laughs> so, man. So they're going over the whole Mortal Kombat mythos. What actress is this? I honestly would have just got freaking Ronda Rousey to be Sonya Blade. She was already her in the game, so why not? <laughs> and that is Raiden. I'm just 
guessing by the, you know, the hat. <laughs> Here, wait, hold on. Let me. Forgot to turn on my mic for this one. All right. So, as I was saying, this looks like Scorpion was like recently here. Like this, like the, later in the trailer, you see Scorpion and uh, Sub Zero. Wait, did I say Scorpion? I meant Sub Zero. Sub Zero and Scorpion uh, were fighting here. And this is probably like the aftermath. And this looks like Raiden and Shang Sun. So maybe this is what's. I don't know. Why would they be meeting here? Oh, wait. Later on in the trailer, you see Sub Zero and Shang Sun, so maybe they're like in cahoots. And it seems like Team Raiden is like Sonya Blade, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, etc. You know, kind of like in the video games, honestly. <laughs> but it looks like he's using Sub Zero for nefarious purposes, and Scorpion is kind of just like a lone wanderer, uh, uh, lone wolf. There we go. Um, and this. <laughs> I really hope they like go deep into Scorpion's backstory. In case you didn't know, his name is uh. My name is Hanzo Hasashi. Hanzo Hasashi, and his family, and I think he might have been killed as well, and that's why he comes back from hell as Scorpion. Uh, what's his name? Kui Liang, I believe, is the evil one, and Kui Liang is the evil Sub Zero, I think. And Bihan is the good one, if I remember correctly. And so he kills the bad one, and I think the good one comes back for revenge, if I uh, I think so. It gets kind of complicated with like the multiple sub zeros and stuff, but I think that's how it goes. You killed my wife, my son, and then you burrowed your way into my head misdirected my vengeance cost me my one chance to have them restored but it looks like his family is gonna die here and yeah and he kicks their ass which is awesome i cannot wait to see that man well i kind of just did that's kano Oh, so it looks like he's not really, um, he's not really on their team. He's just like somebody that they captured, but also where's his eye? You know, Kano has like the huge metal eye. I guess they're just doing like a more subtle one. Like maybe like kind of like Thor in Infinity War. They just gave him an, a robot eye that looks almost exactly like a human eye. Maybe that, and this effect. You know, it's not the best, but it's still early days. This is the first trailer. It's not going to be out for how long? I forgot. But they have time to improve it, I guess. Maybe it's just this scene, <laughs> but like it looks very like low budget movie, like superhero movie level eye laser, you know, <laughs> but whatever. Liu Kang looks amazing. And I was saying, these effects look practical, right? Like, these look like they're just, well, I don't know. He would have to have skinny arms to be for those to be prosthetics. Maybe there are practical effects like, and they're just like made, they're like tweaked with CGI, you know? But these look very practical, which I like. It looks pretty good. It looks like he's about to crush this guy's head, which is awesome. Kong Lao looks awesome. Wait. He's dodging a beam and it's one. I don't know, I'm just saying that might be Kano, but I don't know what other characters can shoot laser beams other than Kano. So I don't know, it might be somebody else. It might be like a, a Quan Chi or something or a Ermac or I don't know. The effects for Raiden look awesome. The lightning bolts, you know, that looks pretty cool. I hope we get to see him fight and like he's not just, you know, I'm here to warn you about the upcoming Mortal Kombat tournament. Bye. You know, I hope he's not just like a background character. I hope we get to see him fight. The eyes are fine. You know, I, I prefer the very like white, like you don't even see his eyes at all kind of Raiden, but I think he looks fine as Raiden. The hat's cool. Um, 
Terminator, the little Terminator effect. That's definitely CGI right there. But once again, even here, yeah, they look a bit big. He might just have his arms like in a, you know, thing. It looks really good though, so. Practical effects are always nice to see in modern movies. Uh, is that Raiden? Nice, okay. And they're doing this like, when they first show up, they're all like Sub-Zero and Scorpion are wearing these like black uh, samurai type outfits. And it looks like later on in the trailer, cause you see it, they like turn them into like a darker blue and then Scorpion gets like a golden armor, which is cool. Makes sense. Cause was it uh, Scorpion's whole shtick was that like why he looks like a copy of Scorpion or of Sub Zero is because he did that on purpose and like he's yellow, yellow because like yellow is the color of cowardice or something like that. And Melina, she looks nice. She doesn't have like the over, you know, like cut jaw with like the sharp teeth, but she does have sharp teeth, you know. So it looks it looks nice. It looks not too over the top and she's looking the her tongue looks like she might have some cgi because that looks like a very long tongue but yeah she looks pretty cool not in purple yet but she might get that color later on in the movies and uh shao khan this is a very detailed statue which makes me think that they already had the model for it so he might show up in the movie at some point like as a real like maybe the antagonist but I don't know, because the main theme of this movie seems to be the Scorpion versus Sub-Zero drama and the new person, Cole, I guess. So I don't know if they could also fit in the Shao Kahn story with him being the, maybe. <clears throat> and Shang Tsung seems to be like the main antagonist right now. So he might just be like a, a tease for future Mortal Kombat movies, which, you know, that's fine because he's a pretty, like he's like the big bad of this universe. So it'll be good for them to like have some build up to him, you know? And that, is this supposed to be Reptile? Cause like he's doing some weird, cause he's doing some weird freaking gymnastics. Like that's either uh, Reptile or like Rain, I think. Cause that's like, that's a bit watery, but like he has like scales, you see that like spiky stuff. And later on in the trailer, you see like I think Kano rips his heart out. But yeah, you can see a little bit of the blue there. Luke Kane using that fatality. I don't know who that that is though. I think he might just be a normal like guard. But the sword kind of makes me think Baraka, which I hope shows up in the movie in some way, shape, or form. Also, is this a Shang, or not the, the Shao Kahn statue from earlier, it looks like. And Goro looks awesome. I wonder how many jump kicks you're gonna have to do to him to before he can get him on the back pedal. <laughs> I remember the Goro in the first Mortal Kombat looked fine too. Like he was a puppet, you know, obviously, but this one's CG and he looks fine. He doesn't look, you know, like uncanny valley level, bad special effects. He looks pretty good. Hey, no, get out of here. And I don't know who that is. He looks pretty good. And I don't know who that is. His voice sounds awesome. You can see the blue. His effects, the ice effects are like the best ice effects I've ever seen, honestly. Yeesh. They should have just used the video game get over here, huh? Like, I, I get what they're trying to do with the actor, but you know, nothing will ever beat that get over here. The, you know, the traditional get over here. I'll put it in post. I like mute this audio. 
and put the video game get over here over that and like you'll see how much better that is get over here but yeah uh i like seeing sub-zero kick his ass because uh i feel like scorpion's a bit overrated in the video games uh, i'm much more of a sub-zero fan than scorpion i think scorpion has a better backstory but when it comes to gameplay uh, sub-zero is my guy logo looks awesome The finish them was was fine. Um, that's Melina versus Sonya Blade. Yeah, Scorpion killing some dude. This guy, this guy is the guy that Kano freaking <laughs> D hearts turns off his living, you know. But is this supposed to be reptile? Like he has some weird spikes going on. And here, hold on, let me get a better. Yeah, here, right here. You can see this. His, uh, this, I thought it was a wolf guy when I first saw it, but look at this mouth. That's not wolf at all. That's like some, I don't know, some creature. I want to say it's either reptile or I don't even know what the fuck. Uh, but like he's gray too. Reptile's green, right? And he doesn't have weird spikes. He just looks like a chameleon. He looks like a uh, an Argonian from Skyrim. <laughs> just in, like, he just got his hands on Scorpion's outfit and painted it green. <laughs> but. <laughs> Kato looks like he's going to be a funny guy. Honestly. But where's his eye? I, I still don't like that, but the... The portrayal of him seems pretty funny, which I like. And he's holding a heart. That's awesome. <laughs> April 16th. All right. But yeah, I cannot wait for this movie to come out, man. Uh, I will be watching it day one, hopefully. April 16th, when is that? That's a few months from now, though. Yeah, March, April. Ah, it comes out on a Friday. I work on Fridays. But... I will definitely see it on the 18th then. I'll see it on Sunday. <laughs> definitely. Cannot wait for this to come out. It looks like it's going to be really good. But well, Alright guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.